Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on the Cycling Dane Action Channel and as we know Zurich was the host of the World Championships for the 2024 Worlds and the men's road race had a, a very interesting course with seven laps and a very tough hill. I thought myself that that could be a fun little challenge to do so I embarked on that climb myself and before long I was greeted by one of the riders for this year's Worlds and that was the Vatican rider, the smallest country in the world. And I wished him well Good luck and then headed on to try and find other riders as well knowing that they were here and that was quite interesting. Before long I was passed by a squad of orange riders and that could mean only one thing and yes I was thinking of the king, the god, the myth, the legend, the current world champion until the road race and that was of course Macho Vanderpool and there he was in his living breathing self and absolutely astonishing to see him racing past the Hong Kong team there and there you can see Macho Van der Poel, the legend himself and yes he has a certain aura around him and I was just sensing the absolute immense legend that he is and yeah I was a bit of a fanboy at this point but uh, how many times do you ride behind Macho Van der Poel on a ride? Macho Van der Poel, the king of cyclocross, the king of road racing, and yes, as you can tell, it was a very exciting moment there for myself. I just managed to stay in, tucked in with them. The climb itself wasn't too hard at this point, and there was a bit of a plateau as well. So I just made sure to stay on the wheel and not get into any trouble with the riders as well. But the circuit really comfortable at this point and the gradient not too hard as well. The Dutch team were taking it somewhat easy despite overtaking a number of other teams. But one fan as well got a bit too excited as well with Macho Van Der and he started to ride right next to the king himself and before long he was told of the unwritten rule in the world of cycling is that you do not ride next to the kings of cycling and he was shortly after told to get back where I was as well. But Macho Van Der the king, the myth, the legend, I will certainly still be a fan. Shortly after, I decided to go back down to the beginning of the hill and this is where I saw a green silhouette of riders and before long, yes, that was of course another one of the kings of cycling at this moment, Tarib Gacha, the man on the verge of a triple crown and a few days ago, also the man that I happened to sit and listen to an interview with, we did over in the Cycling Day Extra channel. But this was a very different setting, all his green lieutenants there as well around him, and they were really meaning business here. The pace was really starting to accelerate, the watts were flying through the roof, and I could really sense that this wasn't just a relaxed coffee ride for these guys. This was a preparation ride as Tad Bagacha was really starting to put the heat into everyone's legs. And before long, I, I felt my legs screaming and you could see just how strung out the Slovenian team was here. Tad Bicaccio was taking no prisoners. He absolutely was accelerating hard on this very steep climb. And before long, that meant that all my energy was absolutely gone. And before long, the Slovenian team left me for dust and that bit of effort just did leave its mark on my legs. But Jan Tratnik, I managed to catch up with him and him and I, we cycle up the remainder of the climb together, which was very nice. Not long after, I bumped into the British team as well with Tom Pickock, and that proved a bit of an interesting affair as well. And after that, even the two American riders of Mateo Jorgensen and Brandon Minolti crossed my path. Not long after, I bumped into the Spanish team, and here I could really starting to feel the burn, and it was time to just get some energy for help of this. So the product you saw me taking was from Ketone IQ and I have been using their products for quite a while. They are of course also an official sponsor of the Team Visma Lisa bike team and ketones are really a powerful macronutrient backed by clinical studies that can significantly boost your performance, endurance and focus and I've really seen this myself firsthand using it on various different videos whether it be in the mountains or on a flat ride or even for recovery it really has dramatically improved me as an athlete and that's why I use the Ketones IQ gel pouch as part of my training routine and if you want to check more out about that there is a link in the description below with a discount as well. After that I felt a bit more charged the energy was starting to flood back and I was just able to get a bit of legs back but I was very spent after basically having a lot of interval training sessions with all of these riders. 
After the hard session with the Spanish team, I was overtaken by the Belgian team here and this was truly exciting because of course the Belgian team are a very solid team, very solid nation. But of course, within this rank, there was one rider that we're all thinking about. The double Olympic champion, Remco Evenepoel. And there you could see him. There he was on that golden bike after those two gold medals. But this was just incredible. Remco Evenepoel there and you can see the fans or the fellow fans, that, shall I say, also trying to stay on his wheel. But Remco Evenepoel, I was trying to just make sure that I was the one who was going to get on his wheel. And there you have it. I was just making sure that I was going to win this battle for the most lucrative wheel you would say in cycling right now courtesy of that golden bike one of the favorites for the race a former world champion on the road as well but this angle didn't do it justice so let's just change to a second angle just to capture the whole scene here with Remco Evenepoel on that golden bike and Remco yeah the battle there I even had to have a picture as well being a fan and why not if you see the double Olympic champion on the road but I was starting to feel the burn after all those sessions with all the different teams. The Belgian team weren't going particularly hard. They were taking it a bit comfortable. But when your legs are spent, it's uh, hurting quite a lot. But Remco Venepol there, it was just such an incredible sight seeing that golden bike, seeing the Olympic champion and one of the key favorites for the race as well. The Italian team were going a bit faster and they just overtook the Belgian team there but I was not gonna meet that acceleration by the Italians and yeah the Belgians didn't respond to that thankfully or I would have been gone at this point but Remco Evenepoel there absolutely astonishing completely in awe and I think this is also what makes cycling so great that you can actually cycle with the champions of the sport and Remco Evenepoel very friendly with everyone it seemed and we are wow 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 they're speechless speechless and you can hear and see that I was just struggling a bit there to just keep up. The energy was starting to feel it. I think at this point I'd cycled with probably 20, 30 of the riders. So uh, yeah, up and down this climb was quite hard. But yeah, Remco Venepol and the Belgian team certainly looked like they were here for business. Yeah, every single fan group that saw Remco shouted his name and even the Belgian national women's team also got shouted Remco at anyone with a Belgian were hearing the words Remco Evenepoel but uh, it wasn't long before I just felt my legs going a bit too soft and that was of course because of all those sessions but I didn't manage when the ketone kicked in properly to just ride with the French team as well with double world champion Julien Philippe in front of me that was quite extraordinary as well and after that just seeing the star of Ireland as well Eddie Dunbar the man who won two World to Espana stages but that was basically it for my day seeing the beautiful roads of Zurich and seeing some of the biggest names in the sport as well in a very short period which was very incredible to be honest and yeah that's basically it for this video if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel here on the Cycling Dane action and hit the like button as well that would really help us out and if you want to check out ketone iq as well there's 30 percent off if you use the cycling